Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will be talking about the vertices or the grips or the control points. And I'm gonna bring the notepad here. So we're gonna talk about vertices or grips or control points all the same these are the three terms all right so objects or geometries in AutoCAD they all have uh, grips or they have control points again or vertices of course and you see these when you select an object right here I have a collection of different objects you would see in AutoCAD and the first one right here I have just a simple line and I'm just gonna open the properties menu by clicking here so you can see what kind of element is this so this is a line as you can see here this here is a polyline then I have a circle an arc I have an ellipse here a hatch object a text a dimension and a leader so let's look at the line object here uh, when you select it you see these uh, three points right here and these, this is what I'm talking about uh, being vertices or control points or grips and these allow you actually to modify the geometry um, and it depends on which geometry you're using like what type of geometry for example line if you click on the endpoints here it allows you to stretch the line itself so and that's if you click on the endpoints but if you click on the midpoint right here it will actually move the line and notice that I'm not using any commands right now. I'm just selecting the object and then just directly clicking once and then giving uh, a point or a direction and the the line is getting adjusted uh, per that. So that was regarding line. Let's select the polyline here. And the polyline has a slight difference from line in that the right here between the... Uh, between the uh, like when the polyline is connected because because polyline allows you to have multiple lines connected together and of course if I move this control point right here you will see that the lines uh, that make this polyline they stretch it stretch both of them into this direction while this point right here will also do a stretch in a move for for this portion of the polyline itself so um, line if we create several lines right now I'm just gonna create a simple uh, geometry here and these are uh, a collection of lines they are not a polyline each one of them is individual and you see here if I click on the midpoint here it just move this edge and this edge but if you click on a shared uh, vertices or a grip point between these two lines it will actually stretch both of them all right so that was regarding line and the polyline and kind of the difference between them uh, let's look at the circle. I'm going to select the circle here and you see we have four points on, on each corner of the circle. Uh, these are the quadrant points and what they allow us to do if you click and drag it allows you to adjust the radius of the circle. So if you click you will see now the dimension. We can change it to 0 0.5 and here we go. And the central point right here will move the circle itself. Okay, so these four points, they just adjust the radius and the central one will move the entire circle geometry. And that was regarding circle. Let's look at the arc here. So the arc, the endpoints will allow you to actually not only stretch the arc, if you have the, if you have the stretch, uh, the stretch um, snap point in the snap settings, but also it will allow you to stretch the arc even to become a bigger arc and the, uh, and that's the same for the other endpoint as well. Now, the arc has here actually four points. You see, these are the endpoints that adjust the, the curvature of the arc. And also, the midpoint will adjust the curvature as well. But it will, it will keep the endpoints at their place or at their location. And then we have one more point that's a little farther from the arc. And it's right here. This is a grip. We're seeing it when the arc is selected. You are, we're seeing it far from the arc and basically this represents the center of the arc that 
that th this is the center like of the circle that this arc belongs to but we can just say the center of the arc and if you click on this point it will relocate the arc to a different location and I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit it might be a little hard to adjust the the arc just you just want to go slow with it a little bit all right and that was regarding the arc this right here is the ellipse and the ellipse the control points that we have here it will adjust the radius of the ellipse in both directions so this is this one and uh, so we have one from here to here from the center to this side and the same to this side so um, this is for the ellipse let's look at the hatch object or geometry so this hatch right now I don't have a boundary around it or a perimeter it's just sitting here in the model space and I'm just gonna select it and see here you can adjust the area that the hatch command covers pretty much or the hatch geometry and you can see here it's adjusting and covering this entire area so it's acting like like the the perimeter of it is acting like a polyline where we have the midpoints here that will adjust the both endpoints and this one will stretch it and I think this is pretty self-explanatory uh, one more thing is that this central point here will just allow us to move pretty much the entire hatch object okay and I'm gonna deselect it by clicking escape on the keyboard and then let's look at the text command so this text specifically this is a multi-line text and you can see here from the properties it says M text for multi-line text I'm just gonna make a regular text a single line text and I'm gonna click here give it direction no rotation and then text okay and then I'm gonna click escape to finish it and maybe scale it a little bit to make it relevant to the other elements as well all right so the multi-line text or M text as you see here in the properties it has these control points however the single line text which is this object right here it only has one control point and this control point allows us only to move the text it doesn't allow us to do other things while the multi-line text it has the control point that allows us to move it or relocate it but it also has these controls that adjust the dialog box of this text so if I go inside this text by uh, starting the text edit command and I'm just gonna uh, fill in some more of this text and then I'm just gonna move it a little bit away and you will see here that because the text didn't fit in the dialog box we originally drew the next word text got inside a new line and then the third one got inserted on a separate column right here so to make all of these uh, text elements fit in the same text dialog box I'm just gonna click on this grip and then I'm gonna slide to the right and now I was able to expand this uh, dialog box of this multi-line text and that's pretty much about this uh, grip point and this one will adjust the size of the dialog box uh, going down okay now moving to the dimension right here to the dimension element you see here that we also have several grips or control points uh, this one will adjust the measuring points essentially and um, just gonna bring it back and th this one right here if we click on it this will adjust the text to placement so if we click and drag the text to outside it will actually put it outside or if we if we push it out it will also push the extension lines as well and there's more options on how to control the text in the dimension but that's beyond the scope of this video and I also want to talk about these control points right here they just allow us to modify the extension lines that way we can put the dimension away from our objects or bring it a little closer and that's regarding dimension and the last object I want to I want to show you is the leader so I'm gonna select it and of course here are the grips so this one will allow us to adjust the leader um, uh, pointing like or, or where the arrow points pretty much uh, this will we can change it actually to point for example to the center of the circle this will adjust the the handle and where the text is uh, placed and then this one will adjust how far the text is sitting from this grip you can see you can make it farther or closer and then this one will move the text but it's also modifying the entire leader while the leader head itself or the arrow remains intact in location and you can see as we are moving it it's just adjusting automatically it's, it's a very smart object in AutoCAD 
and that was regarding the uh, that was regarding the control points or vertices or grips in AutoCAD 